Hi, and welcome back to another channel teaching. I'm Rena Wells. I am a completely healed wounded warrior. I have been on the healing path for well over almost 30 years. I'm highly psychic. I have all the gifts and I work predominantly with plant medicines like psilocybin and ayahuasca. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you enjoy these channel teachings. Would love to hear your comments below. So please sit back, relax, have a cup of tea, and uh, please clear your mind of all judgments. Maybe take a few deep breaths so that these energy codes can come in and bring in new awarenesses of exactly what we're dealing with in the matrix in our system and the grid work of mother earth and how that relates to the mother energy for balance and father sky energy of creation that created our soul in regards to the father energy and how that's being grounded into the earth plane so let's get started because i wanted to just jump right into this spirits bringing through the teachings this week in regards to exactly what siphoning and dark energies are like and we can't be afraid spirit is saying with these darker forces that are playing in the matrix they come into our path for a reason and whenever a choice is presented to you spirit will ask you uh, how you want to proceed with this spirits bringing through you know it could be in the form of an individual it can be a form of a new job it can be something that you have wanted to manifest Thank you, Spirit, from your past all of a sudden shows up in your reality. Now, please keep in mind that our thoughts and our desires, and including our subconscious world, which are the emotions, are very much predominantly creating our reality on a consistent basis. Law of attraction and manifestation never stops. And so it depends on the predominant energy that we have been working on for a set number of years and so spirit is saying as you're on your healing journey what's happening with most of us is that we continue to manifest out of a place of lack out of poverty consciousness things that aren't showing up in our world the suffering the pain and it's really hard to move out of these energies mainly because that's how we've been conditioned you know spirits bringing through the, the cartoons my kids used to watch as, as children, uh, you know, Caillou, <laughs> and I've mentioned this in another, in another channel teaching, Caillou uh, was, <laughs> it's a Canadian thing, but I'll, I'll just go briefly into it, but basically the cartoon was showing my children at a very young age that I recognized that, you know, this caring and kindness and putting ourselves uh, aside to help other people is actually a loophole into the darker forces true healers actually do not do that right they do not uh, freely give and this has been an issue for me I, I am a free giver and natural healers of this planet want to give. that's just how it is because that's how the mother energy is that's how mother earth is she gives freely but what the father energy brings in into our world and how that grounds into our physical manifestation is a level of discernment is what Christ has talked about. And the level of discernment is a very difficult thing because where we have been manifesting predominantly, which has the most momentum in our life, right, which is that snowball that's been active, that usually comes, Spirit is saying, from our family lineage. And those places of lack and poverty consciousness sits in our family lineage that plays into the subconscious which continuously has the driving force in our life and this is why it's so difficult to break out of this paradigm and into our truest calling into fate into our uh, abundance you know who who we are really made for who God has created us with um, there are so many things that need to play out before we can hit that point and it is a slow process so if there's anybody out there that tells you oh I can manifest your person and I can bring you your path like that please be weary of that healing is not a fast thing healing is an, a process of purging of releasing of uh, letting go of 
really deep patterns that has been situated in your family lineage for eons. This is why we pick our ancestors and the bloodline that we come into. And this is where I bring through past lives. And if you ever do a coaching session with me, I work with a lot of uh, the karma that you haven't been able to heal in other lifetimes, uh, the karma that has been playing out. And when I say karma, it's another, it's actually law of attraction. Uh, we call it karma because we think karma is bad. Karma is not bad. Karma is the law of attraction of cycles that go beyond this lifetime. Okay. So law of attraction is the new age keyword that we that we know that in the new age community but karma it's not necessarily karma debt it's things of law of cycles of thinking spirit laws of attraction that go beyond this timeline if you can see beyond this dimension and this timeline that your soul is infinite your soul has been here many many times there are things that we have been gradually working on through many lifetimes and so spirit is really bringing up that you know if you're at a precipice time right now and you're realizing okay i'm in a pattern these things keep manifesting this has been a consistent thing with my job with my money with my partnerships this is you know i'm either over giving or people are always taking from me or this is toxic or this is just the same reverberation and regeneration of the same thing over and over and over and over again and you feel like you're, you're hitting your head against the wall. Spirit is saying the reason that this is happening is because one of the family lineage and be in two because of the deep subconscious patterns that we're unable to heal. And this is why I work with plants because there comes a point in our journey that I believe that if we are so stuck and, I, and I've known people to be stuck years in this, people sometimes die and spend their whole lifetime in this constant cycle. And the reason for this is because we have to forego all of our belief systems in order to bring in the true nature of God into our life, okay? And it will be a step-by-step -step process. So Spirit wants me to bring this up in regards to my relationships. My North Node is in Libra, so my path is about sacred union. My path is about relationships. And so I welcome relationships that come into my life, but I'm also very highly discerned of exactly the balance of that. And so where my issue has been is that I'm constantly overgiving where the other person is unable to reciprocate fully and to meet me in that depth. And when that happens, I find that it has to completely be cut off or my energy eventually becomes siphoned and lowered. And now that being said is we have to be able to move into, if you are pulled into a work situation or a partnership, whatever that looks for you, you will get a warning, right? You will get a, 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 an inkling. I, I, I don't want to say a warning. Some, some people are warned. But you will get an understanding if this is a pattern. Because you will question it. You'll be like, hmm, is this really, truly a repeated pattern and so spirit is bringing this up like when I was really getting out of toxic relationships about four or five years ago I've had many different relationships I would you know find somebody else I would date them it would feel brand new it would feel like a new cycle but then soon enough I realized nope that's the old cycle repeating itself and I would have to end it and the length that I would stay in those relationships became shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And this is how spirit gets you redefined, right? So this is what I'm saying, coming into union with your twin, coming into um, knowing who you're really meant to be with, what your path is. This is not something fast, okay? This takes sometimes an entire lifetime of healing to come into. And so I know that this is hard for a lot of people to hear. And it just, again, depends on where your soul is in, in your journey and what you're meant to be doing in this lifetime and so again if you work with me we get next steps next what you're supposed to be doing to bring you and elevate you and pull you out of things that are siphoning you darker forces that are trying to keep you in the loop family lineage patterns that you know or karma or uh, past lives anything like that that's keeping you now when you do work with me i'm gonna tell you <laughs> it's not easy work okay I'm a true healer and true healers you know 
what happens is uh, sometimes it does get a little world bit worse right before it gets better because when you try to pull out of old vibration okay things come up these darker forces have been siphoning pieces of your soul and your light through your family lineage for eons right so there's different types of darker forces this parent wants me to go into this with you guys um and why this process of exiting the matrix takes so long okay now spirit is also saying god does send these darker things okay because the mass consciousness remember we are just one consciousness on the planet manifested in different ways and so things of lower vibration things that are fully aligned to you do come to you and when you feel the pull spirit is really saying you will get an inkling like okay it feels so good it will um feel good to move into that spirit says if you need to go into it it's being presented for a reason that if the 3d manifestation is where our state of consciousness is still currently at right because remember the way of the matrix is to look at physical manifestation and stimulus and chemical reactions and addictions to the physical manifestation first right that can include how we see romance how we see sex how we see attraction okay how we see our work how we see our homes all of those things if we have the 3d concepts if they are driving the energy in our body if they are driving our feelings and our emotions and this is where it's really difficult you guys it will consistently come up this way okay from a 3d perspective of owning in that this is what's manifesting it's showing up for a reason we then move into it now spirit is saying that's your free will choice okay and i don't want to scare you um but if you do feel that you are getting so pulled and it's a very strong pull that means that yeah go in and play into it but be also very mindful this is a very important thing is to be mindful of the energies that are coming in at the time that you're making your choice spirit is saying if it is a repetitive pattern you will get an inkling and it might be a small little inkling like ah this person has the same vibration as a past person that i that i've already ended a cycle with or you may get visions of you know i've done this job before this this job offer feels you know it's an opportunity but it also has the same vibration feeling vibration of the job i left five years ago so spirit wants you to be very aware of the feeling vibrations that come around with your free will choices and this is something that I teach my, my clients is how do you match vibrations, right? Um, because the matching of vibrations and the frequencies in our energy body ignites the empathic abilities within us. Now, again, some of us I know are having a hard time even navigating our emotions because we're so stuck in the mind. And if we're really stuck in the mind, this is why I work with plant medicine because it is the plants that have the wisdom to do that deeper healing, right? No human can truly heal you. I don't believe in gurus. I don't believe in these people that have hit a certain place without the help of plants. And that's just my path, you guys. Okay, because I don't believe humans can help humans. I just I just do not believe that. Um, because it's always filtered by ego, myself included. Okay, this is where if you come and work deeper with me, it is about the plants. We need to break psych, uh, psychological aspects in the mind. Uh, the plants were put here before any human ever came so this is why even before any animal medicine I don't even work with animal medicine I don't believe in that either but animals are sacred I only work with the plants um, because the plants have a wisdom right and we tend to think like oh it's the humans oh the plants are part of the matrix I don't believe that either the plants are not a part of the matrix they were created before God ever created man okay the consciousness of plants were put here by all kinds of different beings to help the elevation of the planet and spirit is telling me now through this channel teaching that the plants that came here have different energy frequencies based on the star seeds that brought those energies down i'm very connected to ayahuasca i see where the the where she's from um i see where cannabis is from i see where the mushrooms are from now the mushrooms are pure creator force energy they are the architects of the planet man did not build the planet 
okay the mushrooms built the planet and so spirit is bringing all of this up because if you are drawn to my channel um and to my teachings this is uh where i really take people into a deeper place of healing i don't i i believe that meditation and all of these other mind things are good to a certain point but if you're listening to me you're ready for something bigger right you're ready for something to blow things open to activate the pineal gland nothing can activate the pineal gland like plants can okay um yeah we can meditate we can open but also know that thank you spirit when humans lead humans through enlightenment okay that means that there is an ego that is still in place right because plants plants see past your ego right um and we need these teachings right i'm not saying that meditation is bad or anything like that but we need these teachings to a certain point because it will have to show you the loop that you're in in the human psyche okay things will continuously be a loop with all of these different practices oh let's go try tapping now let's go try uh this coach or let's try this coach because this coach has you know the mind stuff and so once we uh, again this is the step-by-step -step process the spirit is really trying to bring us through into recognizing thank you spirit that we're moving away from outside physical stimulus into the internal world into the feelings into the intuition into the deeper knowing but that energy healing cannot happen and that psychic ability cannot become so fine-tuned until we are completely done with living outside in and and start living from inside out and so when we get pulled into these physical manifestations and things that come it is an act of getting you more focused and discerned on your truest path do not feel silly for this and do not feel silly for repeating patterns my loves okay it's getting you refocused that's not the job that's not my path why did i doubt my path why did i doubt that this wasn't my person why did i doubt whatever it is do not beat ourselves up okay it's showing us more in the psyche where the ego has has been thank you spirit conditioned to pull in and mimicking light codes okay because the light codes are completely mimicked completely mimicked by darker forces because the darker forces has known your lineage for a very long time okay this is why i'm saying no human can teach you this you can read all the eckhart tolle books that you want you can read um, don't mind and mind you i love eckhart tolle okay you can read and be in the mind as much as you want but if you truly want to move into the mysticism that those belief systems and those concepts also have to be broken now when you move into the mysticism when you work deeper with me okay this means whatever you truly believe who your person is who your what your path is okay i bring you into a closer relationship with creator and the mother okay the father energy and the mother energy this means that you will have to one break your belief systems of who your person is what your path is what your life looks like what you actually want to manifest spirit is saying your your desires are already with spirit you've already created what you wanted in your blueprint before you came here so what you actually want to manifest okay everything that you're wanting to manifest right now spirit wants you to look at the energy intention behind that is it because you don't have it currently in your life if you are manifesting from a place of something not being in your life right now that is of a black mentality if you are suffering in your path there is somewhere in your vibration that that intention of moving forward in your path is from a place of poverty consciousness okay to completely break that my loves and it depends it's different for everybody is to start letting go of the mind concepts that you need to and thank you spirit is saying when we move into mysticism it's like you're a little baby okay it's like you're just born again you're like okay i really don't know anything i've done everything out there i'm stuck in a loop um the same thing keeps manifesting i keep manifesting the same work i still manifest the same amount of money i still manifest the same people i still manifest this is the point that we have to clean up our vibration 
okay and whatever comes even if you work with me doesn't mean that things aren't going to try to pull you back into the dark right but I can stand there beside you as that happens to gain a deeper understanding of exactly what's happening in the loop right because you will come to a point you know I have this one client amazing woman amazing woman but it comes down to the point where spirits going to be like okay I'm gonna give you this test now <laughs> you've done the healing you've gone through the suffering you've been suffering hard but now you have the choice to move in complete faith and to take the tools that you've you've gained out of your suffering of how to heal yourself to move into something that you have no idea how that's going to turn out right this means it's pure faith right because faith can move mountains right and that has been my entire path you guys i have been put through the darkness in order to trust god and the messages that i get and that has been you know and, I, and i'm telling you i too am pulled off the path just a little bit things shift in my environment something doesn't feel good i have to get refocused and be like oh yeah, yeah, yeah i see i see i see i haven't been completely honest i was warned about this i i let the energy overtake me and I moved into an opposite direction sorry if you heard beeping I'm I'm making rice in the rice cooker so if you heard that that's what that was and so spirit is saying that we can't judge ourselves for how things are manifesting in our life right we can't judge exactly what is happening um, we have to just be able to ebb and flow and how to start forgoing things of the mind of exactly thank you of attaching to an exterior gratification so yes spirit knows you want that house right spirit knows you want that kind of car spirit knows you want to travel to this location but you also have to sacrifice this is the oxymoron this is what christ really talks about right you have to also give up and sacrifice those desires to move into the unknown okay you have to say god i give that to you spirit i give that to you that's what i want but i am also sacrificing my wants and my needs to follow in faith right that's the hard piece to do right because it creates a death of the ego of our own survival and control tactics that we have been conditioned to live and how to be in the system and so you see when you're ready to finally break out of that it's going to be a complete choice out of complete faith and sacrifice of the ego and sacrifice of our desires, including how you visualize your life, how your path is going to unfold, what your mission is, all of those things, right? You will gain the visions when you are ready, okay? All right. So spirit is bringing through that we're going to start looking at, you know, when we enter the world of mysticism, when we are ready to completely surrender, <clears throat> that we have absolutely no control over our life, that all we can do is sacrifice and give and surrender to spirit our desires and to allow the unfolding with a humble heart and patience and to do the hard work that it takes right remember spirit wants to see that you are actioning things in your life that we are willing to let go of mind concepts that we are willing to let go of our path even if we were told clearly your mission is this spirit's like i want to know that you can even let that go i want to i want you to, i want to see if you're able to have so much faith in your true parents your mother and your father energy the womb of the mother and the creator of the cosmos okay spirit really wants you to know this okay in regards to faith right because faith is the only way that's going to help you through the unknown faith is the only way in learning how to trust real clear intuition and mysticism okay because remember everything gets filtered through ego the humbled heart right listens to the smallest voice that speaks to you and so 
we have to let go of our privileges, right? We have to let go of our privileges um, of what our path is. So this is an example. Like I'll give you an example. My cousin and I, we talk a lot about decolonization tactics and things like that in the world, Black Lives Matter, all of these things. And, and we understand in BIPOC, people BIPOC, which stands for, if you don't know, uh, Black People of Color, Indigenous, and uh, B, sorry, B I P O C, and People of Color, sorry. <laughs> Black, Indigenous, and People of Color. That's BIPOC, sorry. When I channel, I have to then switch into my logical mind. And so, the Spirit is saying, you know, you can't have, you know, white people leading decolonization uh tactics and methods and things like that they are to be allies with bipoc right so when i'm bringing all of this up in regards to how to make the world a better place it's about knowing our family lineage our ancestry line and healing that and to realize that thank you spirit that the next phase into the new earth is about community it's not about being a leader and delegating and saying I am the leader of this path and you are to follow this and I am the one organizing all oh, that's ego complete power struggle ego stuff that is not the way of the uh, consciousness that is coming to the planet we already have that you guys we already have leaders we already have Instagram influencers okay we already have main leaders who have a calling follow me i'm a coach do this do this it's not about this is about building community okay this is about helping and yes i am a coach spirit is bringing this like i am a coach but it's not for you to follow and honor me like oh you're my guru no not that because i bring you to the plants i'm going to show you the real teachers right i'm going to show you the consciousness of the plants okay uh that's that came in the evolution process that were here before the humans okay they got the plants and bacteria got preference all right and over you know uh yeah over to uh, over the wisdom us humans have completely mix matched that spirit is also bringing in that any human teaching that's out there is going to be tainted okay that you need to know your own discernment so even things that i bring through you cannot attach to that and i tell my clients this i'm bringing through teachings but you need to take what resonates if yes i have a very clear channel but i'm still also a human being okay this is why i work with plants as well because then i'm able to just be in the container of it hold that I'm a clear channel for it. That divinity comes through in the music and the singing. All of that comes through and it helps you to heal and the plants do the rest of the work, okay? So Spirit is saying the reason why and why I've been called to plants is also because it humbles you to a greater power. It is very difficult to have a humbled heart with any human teaching on the planet. Very difficult. And it is the humble heart that is able to put the ego aside to truly let God force come through, okay? And the humbled heart can only be happened depending on how much darkness you have experienced in your life and how much when we are broken that we go to God, that we go to the Creator, that we are pr that we pray, right? When we do those instances of like, yes, I am surrendering this piece of my ego, God, I don't know what I'm doing. We almost have to be completely broken and surrendered to that point in order to find our faith. And unfortunately, humans are a little stubborn, stubborn you guys, okay, myself included. It's like, oh my dear God, how am I being humbled again? And this is why, you know, even when I would go back and drink ayahuasca, one of the last times that I, the last time actually I drank ayahuasca, it's been so long, oh mama, I miss you. Um, the last time, because it's COVID thing, right? The last time I drank, you know, I really thought I was done with Aya and mama came to me and she's like, uh, 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 are you sure, are you sure? And even like recently, I, I've even thought maybe it's not my path. But remember, when things aren't manifesting as you believe they should be manifesting, 
okay? We tend to then look at our exterior world and get trapped in our 3D world. It's not manifesting for a reason. I have to, okay, maybe I need to do something. Spirit is saying, nope, this is where faith needs to come in. Every time we pull to our exterior gratification, no matter what that looks like, you guys, okay? No matter if it's that in a person, in a, in a work situation, with our money situation, with whatever it is, with our children and our parenting techniques, Spirit is saying whenever we pull to the outside, instead of taking it in and giving it to source, giving it to spirit, praying about it and allowing the unfolding to happen and the direction to come through, we are so fixed on an expectation and an outcome. It's like, no, well, I want that job. That's the job that will make me happy. We put automatically an expectation on that. And so this is even when people come to me on the twin flame journey, you know, um, I say to them, you need to even let go that you even believe that's even your twin. Okay, because I have seen darker forces tricking people, okay, into believing that this person is their person. You guys, the dark can mimic almost to a T, almost. There's a slight difference with the light and the dark, okay? There's a slight difference, but again, if you have not fully, truly met your twin, you will continuously believe that the darker forces mimicking enlightenment mimicking this high beautiful light vibration mimicking that you've seen yourself in another person or this is our qualities and we have this we have to also surrender that piece okay to allow source to really guide us on the path and allow the unfolding to happen no matter what that looks like that's very difficult a lot of people that come to me that have been stuck don't want to do this you know, so I'm giving you a warning now. <laughs> I'm giving you guys a warning now. I will break those concepts because you've got to be able to surrender everything that you actually believe. Because I do play devil's advocate in quotation marks, okay? I will bring up different, thank you, oxymorons and paradigm type of sequential consciousness to shift you and confuse the ego and to move those things around. It's not necessarily me, it's the channel teachings that come through. Spirit gives you different options, different scenarios that will sometimes take you into other places that you need to still play in because you still want to exercise your free will. Remember, when you come into alignment, true alignment with spirit and your calling, it is a complete place of humbleness, gratitude, and a willingness a willingness to allow the unfolding okay so spirit is saying the first things to work on is prayer thank you spirit the first thing to work on is prayer to remain humble right we fall to our knees when we pray okay and i'll talk about meditation okay i'm talking about real prayer okay so the first thing is your relationship to god not no new age tactics, not your angels, not your guides. I don't work with angels. I don't work with guides. I don't work with any of that. Go right to your creator and say that. My creator. Who created my soul? Who created my soul? I'm calling to you now and I'm praying to you now. Spirit is saying prayer should not just be used because you're broken. Yes, that's mostly the time that humans do it. God wants to come into your life. Spirit wants to come into your life on a regular basis. Routine and practice of humbleness to allow spirit into your life to show you the way. And so you may want to start a daily routine and saying, okay, God, I have to do this work today and I don't know how I'm going to do it. And I'm so I'm going to just pray to you now and I'm going to surrender this to you, spirit. I'm going to give this to you. I'm going to say, look, this is how I want this to be. I, I'm, but I'm also, I want it to unfold this way, but I know that that may not be it, but I'm going to work my best. Sorry, hit the mic. I'm going to work my best to surrender my own needs of how it, my day should unfold. I'm going to surrender my own needs and how this contract is supposed to go through. And I'm going to, if I get doubts in my faith, I'm going to pray. Okay. And yes, yeah, sometimes we will then choose something that's not good for us. But remember, whenever we make a free will choice that we believe and create uh, an idea that it's bad, okay? Like, oh my God, this is what happened to me. This is so bad. Spirit is saying, remember, it is to get you refocused, okay, of the patterns that are still playing out in your life. And remember that when you try to leave the matrix, 
it does get dark before the light comes okay and so also remember spirit wants you to know how strong is your faith your faith will be tested some really dark things might happen to you guys the more humble and the more prayer and the closer you get to god because remember the darkness will follow the light so the closer you get to spirit the closer you get to calling your calling the closer you get to your path you will be tested in your faith in following the unknown in spirit you know will give the okay spirit doesn't want you to suffer but spirit like very much like a parent right very much like ayahuasca is a strict grandmother will bring things the dark to you so that you can get refocused and see where you actually are still very much uh, trying to control your world instead of allowing the unfolding or where your faith is being tested in regards to you know okay this dark thing happened oh my god like uh i had faith in this and now all of a sudden my roof caved in on my house like how is this a thing spirits like do you still have faith do you still have faith because that darkness is showing you do you need to take control of this situation based on your belief systems and the ego and what you have learned thus far, far based on your conditioning? Or can you hold a strong faith in spirit that this is happening for a reason and to persevere in faith and prayer even though, even though it feels like crap, right? That's why things happen. So spirit is saying, this is where I take my clients, closer relationship to God with a humble heart. A humble heart to the power of the universe we are working you guys with the power that created planets and universes okay right that deserves a great humble heart you know that deserves a great reverence that I am just a, another actor in this great world of however things are aligned and not just on this planet and other solar systems and other galaxies it's like things have to align not just based on what my desires are do you see how selfish that is i want to be with this person i can't let this person go because i know i think it's so hard and it's like that's such a selfish reason such a selfish reason to cling instead of allowing another soul to evolve you see it's like we we do these things because we truly have these belief systems like that's my person this is my path this is what we're working towards spirits like there's such a bigger scheme of what's happening and it's like if you can trust in that higher power that creates worlds and galaxies because because that's the one consciousness right we're a part of that and if we can have faith in that power within ourselves through our prayer through our humble heart to let go of control right and to just allow that unfolding and let that person go let that job go allow the roof to cave in and have faith as it's happening right it's that ability to be able to move through that with faith complete faith and to know that this must be happening for a reason i can't i can't hang on to this person this is this person's being pulled somewhere else i got to deal with my own feelings remember your feelings you are only responsible for your feeling you're not responsible for anybody else's feelings ever even if you must hurt somebody even if you must detach from somebody right it's for a reason it just means that that's not a resonance that doesn't mean that that person's evil or bad it just means that you are getting closer to spirit that means that there is a letting go that means that there was a refocusing into what you need and so again and spirit is saying how to get you out of the exterior gratifications the outside in into living from inside out and a closer relationship with spirit okay and letting go of the selfishness that humans are raised in you know because our system does not condone free will freedom um creativity okay it's a very controlled 
container, you know, we're a bunch of mice in a lab right now. That's the matrix, right? That's the matrix control system. We're all conditioned a certain way, very much like I was saying through the cartoons since we're children, through our parents, through the way that the world is. You have to get an education to get a good job. Call bullshit on that. I manifested a six-figure career, okay? So <laughs> just by manifestation with no university degree, thank you very much. So I call bullshit on all of that. You don't need those things. Yes, it can help you in the system in the matrix for sure. I'm not going to tell my kids not to go to college but or university, but only if they feel called to it. However, right, because not all of them are going to want to do that, right? So we must also realize that there are bigger energies at play, that there's not just one way of doing things. And so if we can let go of that egoic mind, get closer to God, become humble with God, we will then be able to see where those energies are siphoning us in the matrix okay number two spirit is saying we have to get now step two is to get into a better place of matching vibration and this is what i teach people you know have you ever realized that you keep repeating cycles and even though they present themselves in the physical world completely different they end up being the same thing you know and spirit wants you to match you know present day vibrations and how you experience that same vibration in the past so this is the thing we cannot look to the physical world i take you guys into the emotional body right because we are here to transcend the mind intellect right because we're supposed to be using the god the intellect of god consciousness not the human ego the human ego is only here for us to survive on the planet right and how to move around the planet oh i need food we need to hunt we need to you know gather um the earth is guiding us to a higher climate or wherever else right this is how the tribes move so the ego is there for survival right but we are too right-brained in the ego right now for survival okay that's why a lot of this COVID is coming through to get us even more activated um into where the ego is not working for our survival anymore is it right are you noticing the system is not working anymore and our egos are all all over the place like okay how do i how do i just survive now right so these things need to break because the intuition piece needs needs to come in okay and knowing that the higher energies want to come in and guide you that can't happen until we completely become surrendered and we let go of things uh and sacrifice things that we truly believe were for us right we need to have you know a sacrifice that happens so that we become humbled okay the spirit is as we're moving now out of the mental concepts that's the first step right for going the mind the second step is now healing the emotional aspect right healing um the emotional drama right healing and getting out of uh the emotional chaotic feelings this is the mind and heart duality stuff that i teach and the emotional world the emotions are only there to guide you and this is why i'm saying matching vibrations start matching vibrations where did not from the physical appearance where does you know this relationship match my past relationships oh this relationship match my my ex or my ex marriage or this friend matches this vibration from a friend that i cut off you know five years ago oh my god this is manifesting again this vibration feels the same so you know or this friend vibration or this co-worker vibration feels the same energy as my toxic parents or my toxic uncle or whatever the case may be okay we have to get into understanding the feeling vibration now how does this vibration match something else in our lives and the more that we can understand the feeling vibration means that we're going to start gaining a different discerned energy of the feeling we are all empathic okay and so this is what i teach the empathic ability so when you are working with the empathic abilities right it's to have fine discernment you're going to gain much more clear insights the more that you do this what's actually dark what's actually siphoning your energies what are feeding the darker energies there are dynamic energies that feed off your family lineage right there are dynamic energies that feed off not just your family lineage that's where the biggest aspect is right based on your family history and the dna line that you come into but it's also you know with your spiritual practice do you follow 
and give uh, preference and put people on pedestals of, oh, this is a guru, this is an awakened person. Do you do that? Because you are your own true master, right? You're, you're more powerful than anybody that's outside of yourself, right? So spirit wants you to see where you're giving your power away, where that then results in the same vibration that's manifesting in your life that also matches your family lineage, okay? Pain from your family lineage. And that's also... Thank you. Attaching you into a mental concept, right, from your past and to an external stimulus because the emotions will do that as well, right? It will pull you into an external um, stimulus, okay? So the deeper that we start doing this work, right, we'll gain a better discernment of the emotions and where the compass is actually leading us, okay? Third is to get real about what you actually want to manifest in your life. Okay, so if you have forgo everything of the mind now, okay, spirit is saying, and you for and, and you've been healing the emotional and and you're matching vibrations, you're getting more discerned. Spirit is saying, okay, here's the physical manifestations now of what you want. Patience, <laughs> patience, they say is a virtue, but it's also the allowing. It's how to ebb and flow with your everyday right it's allowing the energies to move you and shift you instead of you trying to control it and i say this in regards to you know I, i'm going to bring up you know physical activity you know i have been every size in the book i have been you know down to 25 percent body fat I, I i can do every fitness i could probably be a fitness trainer to be honest but i'm just gonna be honest with you know diet and blah 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 to maintain that kind of figure you guys you need to have a mental uh mental constrictive concept of how to keep doing it this is how most people stay fit okay when you start getting into the internal world and start doing that it becomes very difficult to keep that mind up now true fitness is what i'm bringing up is how the universe moves you allows you to rest listening to your body becoming embodiment in your in your temple right knowing the emotions and where they're guiding you if you're hungry listening to that intuitive hit to eat when to fast so this is where real nutrition and real ebb and flow with nature comes in okay do you actually feel good eating animals do you actually feel good drinking dairy okay not everybody's going to be a vegan but as a collective we have to be very honest with what we're also putting into our temple how are we managing our health how are we moving in our life how are we allowing our body and ourselves to naturally move where they need to be instead of a constructive constrictive mind thought process around it right so you see we're we're elevating out of the mind we're elevating into the out of the emotional body matching vibration and then three is the unfoldment and the allowing and the ebb and flow <sighs> Give me a second. Thank you. Spirit is also saying in the 3D concepts of manifestation, Spirit is saying, how are you aiding to create a very pure vibration in your 3D world? That's another thing. We have to be able to create. Thank you. Take the action. Thank you, Spirit is saying, take the action to create the pure vibration so that you can maintain a place of gratitude, right? If we are continuously in a place of the lack of concept, I'm not in the house that I want. I'm not booking clients this week, or my children are acting up and it's driving me insane, or my house is a disaster, or that my boss is being a real ass, or whatever, <laughs> whatever it is, okay? In our physical world, how are we actually cleaning up our vibration so that is a place of gratitude? Now, if you're in a healing process and you're purging, that's completely different. But it's to be grateful for the purging. It's to allow these emotions to come up to purge. So even if you're in a healing process and you're not in a good space, spirit is saying, yes, like I'm purging, I'm healing, I'm letting go. It's okay if I just lay in bed all day, I'm just crying. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. We have to allow these processes to happen. And so spirit is saying, now, after we get through our healing process, how am I going to make a different choice to keep my vibration clear? That means I can't work with this coworker. I need to say something about this, either stand up for myself, speak my truth, or disconnect, okay? And so you have to keep your environment very pure. I have become so pure, you guys. There, I cannot give my energy away. I cannot, if it is not part of my true path. And, um... 
spirit will keep focusing you in that way and pull you out of your vibe out of your pure vibe to get you refocused if you need to learn something but then you'll be able to go right back to your pure vibe that again that time frame will become shorter the more that you start healing on the inside okay so the top five people in your life are the top vibrations that you are going to manifest in your 3d reality do you still speak to toxic people in your life that are non-reciprocal to your vibration if that is the case you will continue to manifest that into your life okay where are you grateful and gratitude to the physical in your world do you have a roof over your head and food every day gratitude for that focus on that am i able to work out today yes okay i gotta work out in today i I couldn't do it all week last week. I did it once this week. Okay, that's good. Praise yourself, right? Do not compare yourself. Now, the Spirit's bringing up the theory of relativity. I love Einstein's work, okay? I'm a little bit of a science geek as well. So, you know, the theory of relativity is also that depending on the present moment of where you're at, somebody will always have it better than you and somebody will always have it worse than you. Where humans are conditioned is to always want more. And so we're consistently focusing on who has more and wanting to strive for that. That creates a lack mentality because it's taking you out of the focus of your present moment to say that you don't have something that you already desire, that you're already lacking that, okay? That creates anxiety and worry. That's where that mental disorder comes from, of anxiety and worry, is being able to manifest your future, okay, or how you're going to move in the future, okay? Now, if you're looking at the past, for instance, um, we can become very depressed. The past is what forms depression. I had a shitty childhood. I had a crappy childhood. I was abused. Look at this. Poor me, blah, blah, blah. People always treat me like crap. That's the victim mentality. We will continue to manifest you know from that vibration of depression in our present moment if we continue with that lack mentality right so and you will attract those people too so it is very important in your daily life to be very present with yourself embodiment in your temple touching your skin touching your chakras embodying and you know yoga movements and exercise to allow the flow of energy through you is different for honoring your temple than having constrictive go 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 because trust me guys i have trained hard okay like i have been I've been on swim team, track team, like I've always been very athletic. So it's like, and I've been every size in the book, so figure that one out. Fitness doesn't have to do with your size. I'm probably a lot stronger than people that are really fit out there. Um, you know, so the thing is, is you've got to be able to flow with the energy. Okay, that's where it's at. Okay, it's not the constrictive mind stuff of routine. And I'm using fitness because that's a really good example of, you know, when you see these IG people and they're like, they have to be on a very strict mind construct. But I bet you a lot of them have no idea how to work their emotional world. Right? So let's, and it's a very fake place to be honest. <laughs> when they're trying to manage their, it's like, oh, confidence. Let's like, look at confidence. That's the like, confidence does not come from the head either right because we have all these concepts in the mind that we like to think that we know what they are but if it's not matched with the feeling right and the knowing at the same time then it's not going to be real right there's always going to be a loophole and there's always going to be a lack true confidence means that people are so attracted to you because of the energy that you put out right so cleaning up the vibe allowing the ebb and flow being very honest with the vibrations that you're housing and being very honest with the choices that's a very big one spirit is bringing through your free will choice that you know you're about to make a choice and is to sit with your choices instead of coming from a place of autopilot okay and coming into a place of your present moment and cleaning up the vibration so much that you are creating a very peaceful, pure vibration in your home. You know, I'm very careful who I allow into my home, um, especially with my children. It's pretty chill, you know, it's a pretty chill environment. Um, and so if somebody, and it's such a pure environment that somebody if does, so does come in, it does disrupt the harmony in my home completely. You will know, you will know if something disrupts your purity that you've been cultivating and when you need to cut that out as well, right? So remember that your environment and the, the 3D world that you are creating for yourself must consistently be from a place of gratitude, ebb and flow, peace and harmony, and a deep place of knowing 
that even if you're purging and in a healing process right now, that you know completely that you are grateful for that purging process at that time as well. Okay. Now, Spirit is also bringing up. If you do feel like you're being siphoned, if you do feel that you're having a hard time with darker energies, if you are having trouble with anything that I brought that brought, I brought up, please reach out to me. I do give uh, single coaching sessions for new clients. Okay, it's 90 minutes before people book in deeper with me with their packages. Um, take a listen to this again. And also just take notes as you're listening to this, okay? If you've run through it once, listen to it again, Spirit is saying, with a more discerning understanding. Do it once for the mind concepts. Do it, listen to it again twice for the emotional discernment piece. And they're saying even if you need to for a third time to understand the third concept of creating that peaceful 3D environment, Okay, Spirit is saying do that a third time if you need to. And if you need any help on anything, you guys, send me off an email. My membership, uh, I do um, bi-weekly calls. I'm creating a mystery school. I'm uploading content, which I will be doing more this week. And so, uh, yeah, if you want to do that, you can join that. You can cancel any time. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you like this video, guys. Comment down below. would love to hear what you have to say about it. I'm sending you so much love as always, and take care. Bye, guys.